Hold the green and gold. All right. We are now officially 3-0 with Norfolk State. Going against the 2-1 Arizona. They're still ranked, so that, that works out for me. As you can check the schedule so far, we grinded out some close wins. ODU was, you know, a little warm-up game. They're 3-1 and one now. Shout out to ODU. Let's go. We beat USC, gave them their first loss. Beat Florida State and gave them their first loss. Now we're about to go against Arizona. We're trying to give them their second loss. The toughest thing about this, not only the games is the toughest thing about this schedule, it's the fact that recruiting is even worse. Because I have nothing going for the program. As you, matter of fact, hold up. This is a brand new program, so it's kind of hard to, like, get things going. Like, I can get the athletic facilities to go up if we get the team prestige go up. But we're, we're brand new, so it's going to be kind of hard to do that right now. Not in the first season. So, looking at the prestige right now, look at that. We Coach prestige is kind of... It's kind of, uh, it's uh right now. So there's that. Coastability. Uh, I'm going to be here for a good little while. So, but the coordinator is a different story. But since I'm new, I got a D in this. All right. So conference prestige. We got a B. So we're good. Because I put us in a good conference. The FBS Independence is a good conference. You can't improve the academic prestige. So that's going to be an L regardless. Brand exposure. We played two national TV games. And we won both of them. So we should be good so far. Alright. So pro potential. We only have one person that's projected four to seven round pick. I mean, we just get started, so that, that kind of counts for something. Stadium atmosphere, you know. We're getting there. We only get 12,000 people in the stadium per home game. But it doesn't matter. We still win them games, though, so it don't really matter. But we got a D. We're going we're gonna to work that up every week. We're going to... We got to dominate home games? We have to dominate home... <sighs> All right, I guess that means I got to step it up a little bit. Campus lifestyle, we can't improve that either, so that's just going to be a C. Program tradition, perform well on the field to increase this grade. That means I got to get Heisman winners, playoff games, national championships, bowl games. We just got started, so it's going to increase eventually. And championship contender. Okay, we up there. We're currently 65 in the media rank. But, you know, we getting there. Apparently, we ranked 91 somehow in championship contender. But proximity to home doesn't matter. Playing style, eh, it is what it is. But it doesn't matter. Like I said... The toughest thing about this is trying to recruit people that's like potential four stars, five stars, because they don't even know the school. But it's okay. We're going to get there. This year is just all about trying to get people to come to the team. That's it. I will show you all the stats, but I ain't got time for that. I want to get straight into this game. So, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome. We are surrounded by pageantry 
and tradition, and it's clear to see that college football will be at its best today. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room and not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Arizona Wildcats offense will have the first possession of the game. And as we watch this wide receiver come onto the field, when you have a dude like this, you find ways to get him the ball over and over again, no matter what the defense tries to take away. Yeah, because the defense can't win. Whether you double-team him, we're still going to win. And they're going to give him the ball in quick passes. They're going to throw it deep. And they're going to take advantage of him every opportunity they can. They will feed him. They will feature him because he's just that good. And the entire playbook is wide open on second and short like this. Dropping back, it's Fafita. It's caught. Off he goes. The 20. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Wildcats. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. And there's no doubt, guys, we will be focused on these two star playmakers on the outside. I'm curious to see how much man coverage we're going to see today. I don't know if either of these defenses is confident enough to go mano a mano with these two dudes on the field. They're two of the best in the nation. These cornerbacks aren't looking for man-to-man -man coverage. I can promise you that. I'm like, give me some help over here. But we're going to see some split screens, and we're going to see who had more catches, who had more yards. We're definitely going to be breaking that down this game. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll try the right side. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Going up top on first down. Short throw to the sideline is complete, and he's out of bounds. He'll be short of the first down. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. He's looking to throw. Damn, man. In a hurry, but he couldn't find his man. It's incomplete. And the quarterback and receiver just not on the same page on that last play. Timing has got to be so critical, especially when you're throwing the perimeter in the field. They just didn't have it there. And the throw to the sideline is complete, but won't be enough for the first down. That's a great play call there, guys. I love it. Listen, they didn't get the first down, but this QB sneak on the very next play is going to get it, and this drive's going to keep going. Try to get it on the ground. Open space at the 25. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave him a little bit of everything on that one. Now on first and goal as they try to answer that opener with a touchdown of their own. They're trying to slam it in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Second and goal for this offense. Trying to punch it in. And he stomps his way into the end zone for a touchdown. This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. And they pick up the extra point kicker knocked him right down the middle. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points to him, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is 
little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but I got to be aggressive because this is a back and forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. He's got I knew man. it was going to him. Really I, nice job there by both guys. I got cut off by somebody. That defense and get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Using his legs, it's Conley. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot we come sleepwalking right out. into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. The Wildcats are moving quickly down the field. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. He is like a loose boulder just blowing to the 32. Great job by the defense there, slowing down that jet sweep. And a big key was the defensive end containing the play, forcing the receiver to cut back inside to where all the traffic was. Give to the back. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Arizona comes out with another first down. Movement here from the tight end. He'll keep it himself. Oh my God! Into the goal line. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Arizona. Number 11. This quarterback is such a weapon on these design QB runs. He's not trying to just go get first downs. This guy's a threat to take it the distance, and bad, he did it right there. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the offense onto the field again. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. Leaves it with the running back. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. In the dead center of the field as they try to convert this third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. That'll be enough for the first down, and they'll mark it at the 48. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Scanning the field, it's Bauer. He's got his man. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. get this quarter going with a second down play running back searching for a hole and he's knocked down but not before moving the chains well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now it seems like no matter what they're dialing up they're getting positive yards and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and hitting yeah, and on the other side you're scratching your head going what the heck can I do here you got to find something the defense <laughs> Hits him in stride inside the 10. Steps into the end zone for a touchdown. 
quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up for the PAT. Splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. UConn is getting dominated today. And you know, the folks in stores deserve better than this. No excuse ever for this kind of a plunker. They're trailing by 14 to Florida Atlantic. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Wants to throw. It's Fafita. <laughs> and there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Feeling some heat. Let's go! And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Yeah, it felt incomplete because he did a great job of getting to the quarterback. He's in the pocket. Yeah, he's, he's comfortable, but you get in there and you get a hit on him. Now he feels it, can't throw the football, can't follow through with his arm motion. Nice job by the defense. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. First play of this drive comes from the 35-yard line. They'll try the run. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Quickly complete. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Leaves it with the back. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short gain. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the tailback. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? To the ground to try to move the chain. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Now they're going to throw it. It's complete to the left. Guys have the backfield now. It's not just run the ball downhill anymore. you got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and i got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on it. He's got the back in the middle. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps his drive moving. Now on the move at the 28-yard line on first down. Looking to move it through the air. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. They'll go to the ground. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense. He in. was open. That pass not closes. He got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And they'll send out the field goal unit. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And with that, they take the lead. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And they desperately wanted to attempt to return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. 
Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable in that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. They're trying to get to it. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, ball tip to 25. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The give on the inside. Hard running there. Strong running there. Going to pick up seven yards on the play, but they still have a fourth and three. Timeout call by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Offense getting set for first down. Back to pass, it's Bauer. Quickly complete. And he goes down after making the grab. Pick up a few, but he's still short of the first down marker. Well, that's one the DB, I think, would like to have back. Out route, he was in man coverage. If he could have just got out of his break a little bit sooner, he might have had a chance to intercept that one and take it to the house. Pressure coming. It's complete on the right side. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He's going to pass. He's going to fire deep. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Oh! Two not on the same page. It's incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Quickly to the tight end. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Coming after it. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. They'll line up for a second down play. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. He's looking deep. Oh! There's in the traffic, it's picked off. Takes it the other way. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. I'll tell you what, safeties in today's football now, it changes, right? You used to be big hitters that spin down all the time and have to play the run. Now with so much pass, so much spread, you better be able to hit. And the defense gets to the quarterback. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Looking for a man, it's Fafita. He's right on target. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. On the move, it's Cook. He's brought down, but a real solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Here comes the offense on first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Wide open, he makes the catch. Steps into the end zone for a touchdown. Did not take long to get into the end zone now and see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Yeah, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to have to get something to get out. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. 
fast motion from the offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Norfolk to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Ballard Stadium. All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here. The Wildcats will kick it away to crank up the second half. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The drive starts from their own 25-yard line. They'll start the third quarter with the run. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. Well, on offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front, climbing in the second level, really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. Looking to throw, it's Bauer. And the catch along the sideline will come up a little short of the first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. The receivers often will run their route based on the side adjustment. Wants to throw on second down. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions. He is rocking! The punt team makes its way onto the field. That is a good omen for this defense. They were getting lit up in the first half. They knew something had to change. So to set the tone like this early on their opening drive of the third quarter and get a stop on third, that should really help their confidence. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Handoff to the single running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's a bad sign on offense when you have that many people running free at your running back. That means guys up front aren't getting their blocks. Just too many hats getting to the ball carrier. I love his effort, making multiple guys miss, but still, it's a net running toward the tape. Inside Why is he running so slow? Touchdown. Touchdown, Arizona! And once he found daylight, it was Katie on the door, baby. Love the play call offensively. They knew the defense were crowding a lot of bodies close to the line of scrimmage. And once they were able to get into the second level, all they had to do was make one guy miss and get one good angle. And with the speed that ball carrier has, man, that thing was a sure shot touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner goes down. Offense set on first down. And off from the shotgun. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. They'll give it to the back. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. Oh! Going for broke on second down. Fuck! Down's coming he is up. open. They that line up, and it is a he long open. way to the sticks from here. Looking to throw, it's Bowers. 
trying to get to it. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. The offense in its own end still needing a couple of yards for the first down, but they'll stay out there and Fuck! go for it on fourth. They stop him short of the marker and they'll turn it over on I didn't down. think he was going to move to the down left. Here for the offense. In. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. From the gun, the running back has it. On the move at the 30. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big Damn, chunk of yardage is picked is up. Good. Arizona in a hurry. The jet sweep pass. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, David. It puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why the offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Fires into the end zone. It's complete. Oh my God! Look at like thirty years in the pocket. Closer, but it'll be first and goal. Arizona moving the ball quickly down the field. The secondary walks up on the line, showing press coverage. Touchdown, Arizona! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Yeah, I love the little play action fake. It's you, know, you get inside the five, you're thinking run, run as a defense come up, be physical, and they slip those guys right behind you, throw it over the top of you. Man, those are tough to defend. Nice little play action by this offense. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. And the offense takes over to dip into its bag of ball play. They were really aggressive going for it in their own end last time and put them in a tough spot, David. Yeah, aggressive, reckless. They got to find the balance with this offense to really be productive. And last possession they went for it, they rolled the dice, Palmer, and it didn't work out for them. Yeah, if you're better on third down moving forward, though, you can keep yourself out of those situations. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Looking for a man. It's Bauer. A shot toward the end zone. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Well, the offense is in that fringe area. This is a place where a lot of coordinators like to take shots. They tried one there, just weren't able to come up with it. Quarterback Will Audible wants to throw on third down. Using the quick game. He will Damn, on this side, we'll be right there. Y'all got a call over. Already out of bounds. The whistle's blowing. Y'all still up. The nigga. See all the windy shot. Wants to throw on first down. Fires to the right. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. Unloads it left. He makes a catch. They get him stopped at the five yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. On the race, it's now second and goal. Last. Got it back on second and goal. Mm. He's in for the touchdown. Follow the block. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, at least, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. It didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. 
Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They'll run it from the gun. At the 35, he's open. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll give it to him again. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. After the strong run on second down, third down coming, and they do it again. They'll try to run for it. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Arizona runs out the punt team. Fair catch called for and made. First down for this offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Hammers ahead for a yard out to the 12. And this is a pressing time for this defense. They, they've got to understand, they're backed up a little bit. They're going to run the football. They don't want to make a mistake. So I think this is the time I'm a little bit more aggressive. I, I got to get this football back to my offense because no! I'm trying to defense to get a little bit aggressive. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They have the lead in a one-possession game, but they're thinking deliver the knockout blow, but this carries big-time risk on fourth down. He dropped! His man, it'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. He dropped you know, it, man. You know, at this area of the field, it's a question, it's a debate whether or not you go for that on fourth down. At the end of the day, though, I think this coach believes in his own playmakers, and he's got guys on offense that he feels can make a play in that type of situation, and he's got confidence in him. That time, they weren't able to come up with it. Be curious to see what this guy does if they're in a similar situation as this game moves on. So now the opportunity with a touchdown to take the lead. Back to throw, it's Fafita. Fires to the end zone. The receiver was doubled and they picked it off. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. The defense will have to key on the run and try to get this ball back. They'll run the ball, the clock is on their side. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Yeah, and a nice job by this defense. This is a critical moment, right? We got to get the football back. They're backed up, thank goodness. Force a punt here, get the football back so we can make some magic here in this fourth quarter. They'll go right back to the run. Solid run. Picks up six and gets it to the 28. This is a big pressure moment for the offense, too, because they've got the lead, but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing more than to be able to convert this, stay on the field, keep bleeding the clock, but the defense, I'd expect them to bring pressure here, trying to force the ball out of the QB's hands quickly. Now this is rolling the dice, or perhaps they've gone outside their head. They're already up. Boy, this could really backfire if they don't convert on fourth down. Get set, get set. Alert, alert. Maybe some confusion on the snap count. It's going to be a false start. False start. 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 Oh, oh, the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. And here comes the punt team. 
This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes the catch at the 30. This guy is a daring punt return, man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking to throw, it's Fafita. He's got his man. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Snags it over the middle. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. To the air on first down. They're bringing heat. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. On second down, looking again to throw. Fires to the right. It's going downfield. And they'll knock him down. IndyCar tempo as they hit to the line for this third down play. Clock running. They'll try to get the first through the air. He'll pull it down. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. And the offense just chooses to spike the ball. Four wide outs set, two on either side on second and ten. He's looking to throw. Intercepted. Looking for more room. He's at the 40. At the 20. Let's go! Just one moment, and all of a sudden, the fortunes turn. You're in a position where you're about to give up points, and now you flip that around and you put points on the board? Perfectly executed. What are you doing in the interception? First guy blocks the intended receiver. Everybody else starts to form a wall where the ball's going. Nice blocking, nice interception, nice return for the touchdown. Climbing up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. No time to feel sorry for yourself here, Jesse. There's still a chance, but you've got to get it going now. No doubt. Two-possession game at this point, right, David? Not a lot of time left, so execution has to be at a premium here. Yeah, and I probably want to go fast. I want to throw the football. I don't know how many possessions I got left. I got to make them all count. He'll let it go to the left. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. Arizona lines up with a first and goal. To the air, it's Fafita. Looking for the score! And he's got it, a late touchdown. Probably window dressing, but still a sliver. Albeit very slight. And they desperately needed that touchdown. Now it's miracle time. We got to kick this onside kick and somehow find a way to boot a long field goal and maybe win this thing at the buzzer. Now look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. The offense keeps it. And this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time you, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. I know a lot of people thought this was going to be a blowout, but this team said, just when you think you have all the answers, I change the questions. 
it's so true, Reese. I mean, they had a lot of dudes that we were talking to leading up to this game just had a chip on their shoulder. They just didn't feel like they were being respected, and they wanted to come out, and they wanted to prove a point. David, they did exactly just that. And it's so much easier to be the underdog. It's so much easier to coach that team, and you go, hey, they're ranked. Everybody's talking about them. You don't have a chance. It just builds all that momentum.